hearing level test. We're going to set up the left ear and the right ear and we're going to measure these different frequencies. So let's set up the left ear now. Here we have the left microphone. We're going to set it up on top of the coupler. Set this on top. We're going to put the weight on top. We will close the door. Next we're going to select measure all, pop-up box pops up that says set the audiometer to 70 dB at 500 Hz. We go over here, we set our frequency to 500, our dB to 70. We make sure that only the continuous is checked and we're going to turn the tone on. And right now it's emitting a tone. We see the stimulus. Come back here and we press OK. It's performing its measurement. It says it failed to get a stable reading. Would you like to measure the 500 hertz again? So let's check our setup again. Okay, we have our blue, our left is there. It's on the calibrator. Come back to our audiometer. Check our settings. Set to right, we need to set it to our left. Our left is selected at 500 hertz, 70 dB continuous tone and the tone is already on. So now we come back to the audit software, we click yes to remeasure. It's going to remeasure it. Now it says set the audiometer to 70 dB at 1000 Hz. So we come back here, select this to 1000. So it's at 1000 at 70 dB. Tone still on. Come back to the audit software and we click OK. Next we set 70 dB at 2000. Come back to the audiometer software. Select the frequency to 2000. It's at 2000, 70 dB, continuous. Tone's already on. You come back to the audit software and click OK. It performs its measurement and we continue this to 8000. So now it's asking us 70 dB at 3000. Changes to 3000. Come back to the audit software, press OK. Now it has 70 dB at 4000. Come back to the audiometer software, select 4000. Again, 4000, 70 dB. Tone's already on. Come back to audit software and press OK. Now it says 70 dB at 6000. Also notice off to the left here, there's an X. That means that at 4000 Hz the audiometer failed. So we'll go back after we've done up to 8000 Hz and we'll, we'll adjust it. So right now let's select 70 dB at 6000. Back at the audiometer, select 6000. We're at 70 dB, the tone's on. Come back to the audit software, we select OK. Now 70 dB at 8000, come back to the audiometer software, we're going to select 
8,000 hertz at 8,000 hertz at 70 dB tones on. Back to audit software. We'll press OK. Okay. Now, what I like to do is look at the deviations, and even though the 4,000 had failed its deviation, I like to try to get all these to near zero point something. So we're going to go back to 500. Since that is a negative, we're going to go up. If it's positive, we go down. So we're going to go back over the audiometer software at 500. We'll select 500 at 70 dB and it was a negative number so we're going to adjust the cow up one just one click don't continue clicking this a hundred million times one click will do it and we go back here to the 500 make sure it's selected and we go down here to measure selected again it's asking to set 70 dB at 500 Hertz look over here the left ear is selected 500 Hertz 70 dB tone is on come back to audit software and we hit OK and it will remeasure so as you can see the deviation has changed We've brought that calibration tolerance even smaller so it was negative one now it's negative point one so now we'll do the same for one thousand we'll do the same for three thousand four thousand six thousand eight thousand so let's select the next one one thousand was negative one point five we're going to select one thousand and because it was negative one we're going to go up one just one click go back here we're going to select measure selected it says 70 db at 1000 hertz click ok and we've adjusted or calibrated so now we're going to go to the 3000 hertz go back to the audiometer select 3000 hertz at 70 db it's 3000 hertz at 70 db and looking at the 3000 Hertz here we're again a negative one so we're gonna go up one we're gonna adjust it up by one just one click and we're gonna come back over here and we're going to actually select the 3000 Hertz because that's what we adjusted so we'll make sure that we select and remeasure what we just adjusted the cow for and we're going to go back down to measure selected. It says set 70 dB at 3000 Hz. Hit OK. It's going to remeasure it. And it has adjusted it from negative 1 to 0.5. Now we're going to select 4000 Hz, which is a negative 3. So that means we're going to go up 3. We're going to come back over here. We're going to select 4000 Hz. And because it was a negative three, we're going to go up three. One, two, three. Don't worry that you didn't see the button get selected. Listen for the clicks. You want to hear three clicks. So at 4,000 hertz, 70 dB, the tone's on. Come back to audit software. Make sure that the 4,000 is selected, which it is. It's at negative three. We're going to remeasure. So we'll select measure selected. It's going to ask us 70 dB at 4000 Hz. Yes, we have it. Hit OK. And now that red X is gone. And we've brought it closer to zero, which is negative 0.2. And we're going to do the same thing for 6000 and 8000. So we'll select 6000 Hz here. And notice this time that at 6000, it's positive 3. So that means we're going to go down 3. So we'll come back over here to the audiometer. We're going to select 6,000. 6,000. 
at 70 dB and we're now because this is a positive number it's a positive 3 we're going to go down 3 3 clicks 1 2 3 come back over here make sure that our 6000 is selected we're going to click measure selected it's going to ask us at 70 dB 6000 hit OK Three measuring and we're near zero again, 0.1. And we're going to do the same thing for 8,000, which is negative 4. Select 8,000, which is negative 4. Come back over the audiometer software. Select 8,000. And because it was negative 4, we're going to go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Come back to the audit software. Make sure the 8,000 is selected. We're going to click Measure Selected. It says Set 70 dB at 8,000. We've done that. Click OK. Now it's all near zero and it's properly calibrated. Next we'll go to the Right tab. So click the Right tab and we'll measure all those. But let's first set up the red or right ear. Come over here, we remove all this. The tone off. So we select tone off. Now that we select the tone off, there's no more tone. Come back over here. Red is right. We put the right microphone here. Microphone, put the plate on top. Make sure everything's set up nice. It's centered, and we're going to do the right side. So now we're just going to do the same thing as we did from the left side to now the right. Again, we're going to select measure all, we're going to select 500, and then we're going to click measure all. Measure all. It says set the audiometer to 70 dB at 500. Okay, now we're going to select the right ear. We're going to select the right ear, 500 hertz at 70 dB. We're going to leave it at continuous tone and turn the tone on, and we'll see the stimulus light. So, select right ear. 500, 70 dB, continuous, tone on, tone is on, come back here, 70 dB, 500, click OK, and it's going to measure. And we do that at 1000, To the audit software, hit OK. Can we do 2000? And as you can see, we already have an errors at the 1000 and 2000, which we will adjust once we're finished measuring all these. We're going to now set it at 70 dB at 4000. Select that to 4000, 70 dB. Back over here, load it software, hit OK. 6000. Okay. 8,000. Go 
Okay. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to look at the deviations and we're going to recalibrate, getting them close to zero again. I'm going to pause the video and do that now.